What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are back with the triple permanent heat wave desert challenge. These people have gone down, but look at that. Absolutely, or almost absolutely nothing to that pawn. I guess he's really little four. Sorry, dude. It's not really a four-year-old. We're fine. So we are growing cotton. Now you can see the batteries are not holding up the best. The only thing we have would... Come on, you. The only thing we have would be these two powering them at the moment. Never finished any research, so we have to remind this out. We're going to spend some time focusing. Well, from there, I think we still have Addy wide open making blocks most of the day. I still wanted more of these. At some point, I'm going to want to do something fancy. I really don't think that's necessary right now. <laughs> One thing I was debating on doing was throwing up a ton of shelves. Like, mine out another layer here. Throw up a ton of shelves and just fill them with blocks. But it feels like a big waste to do that. But, I mean, we're just overflowing with stuff. There's a psychic soothe for the women. Not that we have any fellas. All right, we're going to cancel the stuff in the middle here, too, because uh, don't eat her trying to get a little overzealous or anything on us. <laughs> and there might be some spaces there. Okay, so temps inside are 74, 74. Venting everything together made a difference. We don't get any slept in the heat issues anymore. Where are you and what? Oh, somebody died and left us some stuff. There was a rocket launcher and some other crap up there. For whatever it's worth. Didn't deteriorate too bad either. So there you go. Free rocket launcher. Who can complain about that, right? Now, oh, what's the quality of this room? We still have pretty much everything jammed into one room. I wish Addie had a really good social skill. I would appoint her to... Oh, uh, she could be the miner. Let's see if we, we can make that happen. Let's see. Uh... You must assign the role, okay? Social. Oh, mining specialist. Must be a just a car, okay? Mining speed is whoa. Although Mia does most of our mining. <laughs> uh, we'll just see who we end up with. There's no reason to like super jump the gun on that. I was hoping this would oh, because we have all these layers of wall exposed, it's warming up temporarily actually quite a bit but once we get all this squared off temperature should come down nicely and I'm not gonna rush it it's fine right now we're 75 in here royal tribute collector in and out they go they always bail right away just carcasses laying everywhere and there's a granite urn off they go they run like hell on the way out to you <laughs> can't say as I blame them really so looking to acquire somebody that can take over all the plant work. That's one of my goals right now. Looking to get some research done. The only or part of the reason I closed this space in was because we can leverage this geothermal over here. I think our power needs, unless we do another one of these, which we totally could do right here. I kept a close eye. See, we got this. I think I might have to fill that in. <laughs> uh, yeah, because that's definitely part of our issue with the temps here. There you go. I thought I had them all, but there you go. Whoa. I didn't even touch anything. The game just jumped like that. This too is why this room up here is not staying as cool as we would like. But that's okay. So there, now it's down to 100 already. Like it makes a massive difference. Temps outside, 208. 208, 208 Fahrenheit, 98 Celsius. And then in this room, 101 Fahrenheit, 38 Celsius. And then we're just going to grab all these blocks. We'll bring those over to get them out of our storage. I'm going to have to expand my cleaning zone a bit as well. Come on. We're clocked again. Jesus, man, this game. All right, there you go. Zekas with enemies. We can have honors. We must keep the mood of Zekas. <laughs> oh, mechanoids. No, no, I don't think we're really capable of taking on a mech cluster right now. Sorry, friends. 
Okay, that's it. It's done. Expand. It's 107. It didn't turn out as cool as I would have liked. Is it really hot outside right now? 204. 106. I really thought that would cool things down a bit. Yeah, now it's way hotter in here, too, than it was before. Could be this, but everything I'm seeing when I mouse over is 105, 105. So we're not getting any major bleed in 195 back here, but that should be blocked. That was really close. All right, assassin with a psychite dependency. Um, gear? Meh, whatever. You can just expire. <laughs> I think we can dump this zone. I'm going to clear all and just leave the chunks on there. At some point, we need to be able to actually deal with the, the chunks themselves in a space where it doesn't get to be 160 degrees while we're doing so. That would be nice. I'm a little miffed that the temps went up. And yeah, it's back to 100 now. So outside is 187 Fahrenheit, 86 Celsius. We could even add like... Maybe I should wall this off. I think I will, actually. And then... This room should stay a touch cooler. I swear it was down in the 90s before. Okay. Very nice. Anything else we need to do? What were you just working on? I really like going medieval where there's just where the row of colonists is you can see some basic things such as what they're currently working on this might actually fucking backfire because we're actually putting up walls but i think if you have both sides exposed that won't happen and let's get these things moved as well what do we have for tech prints jump packs and jump packs <laughs> so now i think mia's gonna be what is this? There's a little bit of mining over there, I guess. I want to plan a trap corridor, too, so I, she'll buzz through that shit like nobody's business. And then Addy is going to have to switch gears at some point here. Right now, she's doing really rudimentary tasks with visitors, but she's a really good miner. Visitors with stuff to trade. That's going to be free shit. Oh, man. They're like... Okay, they're going to make it. <laughs> they started slowing down so bad. What the hell? Oh, this zone just has to be shrunk out of this doorway. That's all. I don't really like that everything's jammed in here. I was debating on putting another one of these in, making a corridor like around the outside even. But we know there's potential openings here, which is going to screw up our temperatures. As long as we're okay inside, it's fine. Okay, so she did buzz through all that. Not gonna force anything here. Major break risk due to probably lack of recreation. It's typically what it's been. It's not telling me like we're missing recreation or anything. Yeah, wreck deprived, tattered apparel, gear. Oh, I guess we could take that head wrap off. Oh, and the duster. We do have another duster somewhere, right? Like, we had to have picked something up along the way. <laughs> Good luck finding dusters in this. Oh, that one's poor. Sheep wool also. I don't even know it's such a good play. I think we let it roll. We're going to have cotton soon. I haven't seen these lights come on in a while, but I'm sure they're functional. <laughs> it just says it's off for plant resting period there at 27%. There you go. Yeah, actually, we wouldn't have to make the other room as big. We could just just wide enough for the light, and then we could put a corridor around it. But again, if we know there's open stuff over here, it's not really such a good play. Temperatures are 94 in here now, so they did drop quite a bit. And this one's 107, which is fine. So we're leveraging this open space to the best of our ability. <laughs> that's, that's a damn good thing. So we need a plant worker. We need somebody to do schlubby work like that. I'm going to plan on an expansion here. We're going to go for solar. The light is just fucking kicking our ass, man. I could just build more wind. There's really just not a lot of wind going over here. All right, I forced the last of that mining over there. So now we can focus on other shit. There should be no mining jobs remaining. Like going to bed, for instance. <laughs> Needs. Always wreck deprived. Maybe if I just move this inside. They don't need to go outside anymore. 
I think we're fine just to bring that thing in, right? Addy's been doing nothing but making chunks, and we still have 162. <laughs> you know, there's actually a few more. Last time I counted, and it was quite a while ago, there was 171. But we did a ton of mining post that, so there you go. All right, what's Mia doing here? Fucking plants are due again. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to make a room to to put the beacon in trade beacon. It might be that I can leverage like this space or something because there's no overhead mountain and regular regular roof roof might fly just fine on that if the overhead mountain doesn't. So okay, you know what that noise means, people. This, of course, it's right next to the masterwork bed. There's some kind of dicky bullshit in the game. I'm gonna keep you back here. And then Mia's gonna start shooting whatever the pops out of there. Ah. Oh. Oh. Is it literally all little guys? It's five tiny guys. <laughs> nice work. Do we kill one already? No. Oh, we do gotta run here. Fuck if it's just these little guys. We need a so we need to put a brawler on our list as well. <laughs> I hit the shell. When you shoot any of them, the rest get kind of pissed off and start coming for you. Come on. Oh, you went that way. Probably if we can just get together and shoot, we can take these fuckers out relatively easily. At least they're not smashing my bed. All right, they're all in there. Oh, man, they smoked that one. Uh, I'm going to boogie. <laughs> Oh, fuck. They got a hold of Addy. Uh, now they're going to get a hold of Mia. Wait, they're actually chasing Addy. <laughs> How bad are we getting it here? No immediate danger. All right, just a couple bruises. I would like it if you would stand there, lady. All right, I think we almost have this in hand. Hold on. There goes the light. It's going to make it a little harder to hit them. Fucking destroy, destroy, destroy. Okay, well, that certainly could have been a lot worse. We're going to put lights in the bedrooms to mitigate that going forward. Don't shoot the bed, man. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can clean that up some. What a mess that was. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Okay. We don't need any of these doors held open anymore. The temperatures are not, they're not as good out here. I can butcher those guys. You don't really get much to butcher them though. So maybe it's not worth trying. I didn't even make it out this far. I was gonna <laughs> try and lure them outside. We're gonna desperately have to, all right, let's do this. Okay, there we go. Wow, yeah. Lights are necessary, and um, what else? Let's. I don't have anywhere to dump carcasses. Actually, I do over here, probably. Plants. Yeah, I think we're putting all carcasses over there because I never really expected to actually get any carcasses. So there you go. Let's get those guys hauled out, too. Wow, that sucked, but not too bad. It certainly could have been a lot worse, man. Either way, we're going to put lights it very thoroughly throughout our space because like over here you see it's eh, i mean it's slightly lit this will fix that problem too so i'm gonna build this over here and cancel this one keeping this well lit should push them out into these layers and at least they're not in my like nice space when they do show up that was brutal all right another group of travelers you know where that's gonna go absolutely nowhere meaningful Come on, tell me we can... We guess we don't really need to harvest any wood at this point. There's more components in our... Com yeah, components in there. Yeah, butchering those guys, maybe we can make kibble, but we don't have any critters. What's the point? Are they going to actually make it? Uh, What's going on with the power? So this... My power is not keeping up with this. <sighs> There's really only one thing I can do at this point since we don't have another means to make power, and that's something like that. You guys going to make it? Trev? Trev? 
Mm, I think they will. Good. It's nice to see people coming in and out. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mia's dealing with this. So I think what we need here, I'm going to change Addie's work. We need a brawler. And the brawler needs armor. <laughs> we need a plant person as well. So I'm going to expand and go for some additional bedroom space here. Wow, I'm flustered. I did not expect that. I thought maybe the outside temperatures would keep the insects at bay, but there are safe temps in here, so it makes good sense why they would show up, right? This room is a fucking disgusting nightmare, and you're cooking food in here. Addie will clean tomorrow. It'll be her top priority. We're working on it. I'm going to prep for the expansion here as well. I think I can build these, build these, and then mine these out. And we should be in halfway decent shape. <laughs> I'll just keep doing that until we have enough room for two more bedrooms. I really want to be ready to acquire more people here. All right, we're getting stuff rebuilt. I'm going to prep for some expansion. I know I need to do research. I'm trying. Also, our power is not holding up. <laughs> uh, the batteries are completely kaput. She will get out here and build the third one. I mean, we have one freaking grow light going, seven batteries. Seems like the wind, I'll have to keep an eye on it. Maybe because they're in this alcove, it doesn't really pick up the way it should. I guess we'll find out. All right, hold on a minute. Relationship, oh, he's really old. Oh, he's only 20, never mind. <laughs> it's Addie's grandmother, even though it's a, oh, Addie is his grandmother. Yeah, this guy's freaking horrible. Drug addiction, terrible skills, nothing that we really need. I hate to say it, but it's going to lead to some problems. We're just not keeping that, dude. <laughs> just can't be done. All right, well, things are going so slow with two people. Just trying to get a wind turbine built. The problem is they're walking from here all the way to here every time. So we may need some closer storage. I'm thinking shelves lining these areas would be phenomenal. And then we can kind of organize what's important to go where. I've also put in a bunch of mining jobs through here. Did I just miss some or is there other? Totally missed that. I think I canceled it actually. But anyways, so this will give us room for two more bedrooms and then... I don't know if the space is going to be big enough, but we can always, maybe, <laughs> assuming there's no breaks in the mountain, we can expand this way. Even, you know, if it's just 10 tiles and we were five, I, you know, we can do what we can do if we need the extra space. Uh, you know, honestly, like in here it's 97 in here it's 122. So putting these walls up and dicking around with the stuff definitely fricked up my temperature situation, but it's not the end of the world. Um, so, anyways, shelving. Another thing I'm debating on is more of these passageways. Because if I have shelves lining this, like it's already, there's six doors to get inside. <laughs> so at least we have an option. But, all right, there you go. There, geez, Louise. Are you blocked? No, nobody's blocked. So, research. Now, do... Oh, they're still cleaning up from those little insects that went around and smacked everything. She should get back to mining when she's done with all these repairs. And what's Addie working on? Just going around cleaning. I think it's high time that we switched her up. Yeah, the power won't even come on at all right now. Thank God we're not reliant upon the power just to stay alive. And it will definitely be expanding this, too. Sorry if I'm reiterating anything. It's been like two days since I recorded the first part of this episode. <laughs> I just kind of forgot what was going on. <laughs> I think we're expanding and we need to do research. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, we can also uh, do some. I wonder if I just leave these things in, but whatever. We'll see. And then eventually maybe we'll reach a, sp a, po a spot where we don't even need to make the base any bigger. Again, ideally, the goal is a royalty victory. It's been a long time since I did that. We're going to need several other pawns. I know they get real persnickety as they climb the royal ranks. can actually probably 
Yeah, I could do a leader speech. I don't really want to do that. I want to make statues. Like, we need, we just need people. Growers. Crafters. Preferably somebody who's does nothing because if we could get mining going we could just have Addy wide open fucking blasting this mountain out we'll get it down to 60 in here man <laughs> I don't really know what the minimum temp is that it's going to go down to but it doesn't really matter why don't we start on the end here lady I'm going to have to call it for today though please leave me a like if you're enjoying we're going to get Addy back on crafting for a bit to get these blocks chunks whatever dealt with Leave me a like if you're enjoying. Comments are welcome. I read them all. I respond. I love you guys. Next time, people.